Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw. And today we have a really fun drawing that one of my subscribers asked if we could do, and that is a drawing of a mom and a baby bird. And I thought that was a great idea because Mother's Day is coming up, so it could be really fun. And I also love birds. Um, I love all different kinds of birds. These two here that I colored in to look like robins, um, they have those pretty turquoise eggs. I thought that was cool. But you could really make this look like any kind of bird you want. So you can still follow all the same steps, even if you want your bird to be a little bit different um, and color it in your own way. But this could be a great gift for Mother's Day or just for fun or for someone who loves birds. Um, this one, I definitely recommend you start with a pencil first because there's a lot of shapes that overlap. So you're going to be erasing some stuff. So if you do have a pencil, start with that. And then if you have like a Sharpie marker or a black colored pencil or a black crayon to trace over later, that would be good. And then of course, grab your favorite coloring supplies and let's get started. All right, like I said for this drawing, we're gonna be doing most of this in pencil first. You don't have to do pencil first, but there are a lot of overlapping shapes. So it's a lot easier to start in pencil and then erase later. And of course, try to draw lightly. I'm gonna press hard so it's easier for you to see, but if you're ever using pencil, try to press light. The first thing we're gonna do is make our branch going across. So I'm gonna start on this side and do kind of a wobbly line that goes up and then goes back down a little bit. And I wanna stop so there's room for some leaves. And then I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna have this line be more just kind of straight across. So the branch is getting skinnier as it goes along. When I get to here where I started to go out, I'm gonna have this side also go up a little bit. And then I'm gonna have this be a little point that just slowly gets bigger and bigger until about here and this too. Don't worry too much about your branch looking right in this area because the, the little nest is gonna cover most of that. The next thing we're gonna do is make an oval for the nest. The nest has some texture on the outside, but we're gonna start with an oval. So I'm going to start above the branch, maybe about here. And I'm gonna make an oval that kind of looks like it's sitting in that open spot. So I left some of the branches showing. This part here is eventually gonna go away, but for now we can leave it. And then in the lower half of your oval, you're gonna do a curved line like this, like a little smiley mouth. I'm gonna quickly erase the parts of the branch that are going through my nest. And now we're going to work on drawing the shapes for our baby bird and then the big mama bird over here. So I'm gonna start um, a little bit above the top of the nest here and I'm going to draw a curved line for the top of my bird's head. One side's a little longer, one's a little shorter. On this side here, make another curved line like that. And then it's kind of a triangle shape. It kind of curves up a little for the beak. I'll put a little line in the middle for a smile. And then Underneath here, so kind of directly below this line, have a little bit of a curve that goes until you get to this line that we drew earlier. Now on this side, we're gonna draw the wing. So make a curved line that's kind of tilted this way. And then the wing kind of goes out and then back like this. So it looks like a backwards letter C. On the other side, it just kind of goes until it connects to right there. So see how they kind of swoop that way a little bit. And then on the other one, I didn't really have any space here showing, but on this one I do. So I'm just gonna draw like a little line like that to show where the tail would be. And then I'm gonna draw the egg cracked next to it. So it's like a curved line and it's gonna get covered a little bit by the bird. And then do a zigzag line, but try to have it be uneven. If you wanna add a few extra zigzags, you can to really make it look broken. 
And then I'm gonna add a few extra details to the bird to make it look more realistic. On my original, I made it look like a robin, but you can still follow these lines that I'm showing you and turn it into almost any little songbird. So first of all, let's do the eyes. I have mine closed, so they're just a curved line like this. And then on top of the head, two little oval shapes for some feathers. On the wings, close to the bottom, I'm gonna do three or four curved lines, however many I need to get across. And then these are like the long feathers that come out the bottom of the wing. So these just kind of go towards the point. They come between where the little curved lines touch. And then right under the beak here, we're gonna do a curved line that kind of goes till it hits the wing. And then it can curve back a little bit until it goes to hit the bottom of the nest. I'm gonna quickly erase where the nest is going through my bird's body now too. And now I'm going to do the mama bird, which is pretty much all the same shapes, but facing the other way. So a bit above, like maybe right about here, we're gonna do another curved line. And I'm gonna erase that. Try to make this one a bit bigger, so the one looks like a baby. And then on this side, I'm gonna do that curved line again. And that beak shape, but going the other way. And then I'm gonna go over to the wing before I do the belly this time. So on this side, it just kind of angles a little bit. And on the other side, the left, I'm gonna have it curve more. Oops, so that went down way further, which is fine. So I'll just make that longer. And then this bird has more of its body showing. So let's go over here to where the, the chest is. We're gonna start right below where the head, st uh, the head stopped. <laughs> and then we're gonna go down. And my first one was touching the baby bird more, so it kind of went all behind. This one's showing a little bit more, so. It's do whatever one works for you. And it's gonna curve under here. I left some space so that my bird's legs could be there. And then we're gonna do the tail, which just kind of goes out a little ways. And it's like a little point. Now, before we add the details to the big bird, let's add our legs and feet. So I'm gonna do two lines for each leg. And they have very skinny legs. And then I'm just gonna have two toes showing. So I do a little curved line, and you can have these go all the way to the bottom of the branch, or on this one, I'm gonna make them a bit shorter. So a little curve, and then it curves down, and the end is pointy, and it goes back up. So curve, long curve, point, and goes back up. On the back, you can do another little curve to show the other toe that's gripping the other side of the branch. go and now let's add our details to mama bird here so I'm gonna go right here and do that curve that goes back to the wing I'm gonna add the eye and if you want to do eyelashes those are just little straight lines some ovals in the wing here we do those curved lines however many you need and our straight lines and on the tail here the belly, look at how this line goes here and then stops behind the wing. Imagine if it were to continue, you wanna complete it when it comes out from behind the wing. So now we have most of our drawing done. I'll do one more thing with pencil before we go on to Sharpie or your black marker, whatever you're using. I'm gonna add some leaves. So at the ends of my branches, I do two curved lines. You, they can go off the edge of the paper or they can stay inside. And then I do a straight line in the middle and some little angled lines. I'm gonna add a few more. All 
right, that looks pretty good. And then of course, you want to add some hearts. One thing that helps to make a heart sometimes, think of it like a letter V with two curved lines on top if you struggle with drawing hearts. All right, and now I'm pretty much done with the drawing except the nest. It doesn't look like a real nest. So now we're gonna go in with our Sharpie marker or if you don't have Sharpie, you can use a black color pencil, black crayon, whatever. And we're gonna kind of trace around the lines we made for this nest, but we're going to add like little zigzags basically. And I'm gonna start on the outside. So I'm just kind of going along the edge and doing these little zigzags, little points. They can go all different directions. I'm going a bit outside that oval because I want it to be a little bigger than what I made. And just be careful to not draw this through your baby bird. So we want the nest to be behind, okay? And then this line, this curved line, don't start all the way over here. Start a little ways in and you can do zigzag lines or on my original, I did more curved lines to show the inside. And then I'm going to add little dashes with my marker to give it some texture inside the nest too. And another place we can add texture is our branch. If you wanna add little dashes on there. And now all that's left is for me to trace over all my pencil with Sharpie. So I'm going to carefully do that and just make sure I don't trace any lines that are supposed to be erased. Alright, so I've traced everything. Of course, my next step would be to take my eraser and really get rid of all of my pencil lines. I'm going to show you guys what my first bird that I colored in looks like. So here is my first one I colored in. I used crayons for all of this because I wanted to be able to have some blending with some different colors and I wanted to let a lot of those details show. And like I said, I did a robin. So I looked up pictures of a robin and you know, they have those bright turquoise eggs. I thought that was kind of fun. But you could definitely look up different kinds of birds you might wanna do. There are like gold finches that are really pretty or chickadees are cute. Um, but really make it any colors you want and just take your time. All right guys, I hope you had fun making your mom and baby bird with me today. I would love to see yours and hear about what kind of bird you decided to make for your drawing. But I hope you had fun with this one and I will see you guys next time for our next drawing video. Bye.